Most of us use Gmail, right? Every day we check emails, send replies, and share files. Our daily communication depends on it. But is everything really smooth? Spam emails keep piling up, important messages get lost, and that 15 gigabyte storage fills up fast, forcing us to delete emails constantly. On the other hand, we all know about Yahoo Mail, but most of us have no idea what great features it actually offers. With one terabyte of storage, the ability to manage multiple emails in one place, and tons of customization options, could it be the better choice for you? Should you stick with Gmail, or is Yahoo Mail the smarter pick? Let's find out. Opening Gmail, you're greeted with a clean, minimal layout. Google has kept the design simple. Your inbox is at the center. Categories like promotions and social are neatly organized, and the search bar at the top helps you find emails instantly. Everything feels modern and functional. Now, Yahoo Mail, on the other hand, gives you more customization. You can change themes, adjust colors, and personalize the layout to match your style. If you like tweaking your items to look a certain way, Yahoo gives you that freedom. But there's a downside. Yahoo's free version has big, noticeable ads that can sometimes feel distracting. Gmail also has ads, but they're much smaller and placed in a way that doesn't interfere with your workflow. So if you like a clean, distraction-free experience, Gmail takes the lead here. But if you love customization, Yahoo Mail gives you more flexibility. Okay, now let's compare their features and benefits in a step-by-step -step process. Gmail is built for efficiency. It automatically sorts your emails into different categories like primary, social, and promotions. That means your important emails don't get buried under marketing messages or notifications. If you receive tons of emails every day, this system helps keep things organized without you having to do anything. Yahoo Mail takes a different approach. Instead of automatic categories, it offers something called smart views. These views let you filter emails based on attachments, unread messages, and flagged emails. While it helps with organization, it's not as advanced as Gmail's filtering system. If you like more control over sorting emails yourself, Yahoo's system might work for you. But if you want an email that does it for you, Gmail is the better choice. All right, Gmail is way ahead when it comes to AI-powered tools. It has smart replies, which suggest quick responses based on the email content, so you don't have to type everything out. There's also Smart Compose, which predicts what you're going to type next and offers suggestions as you write. If you reply to emails often, these features can save a lot of time. Another handy tool is the Snooze feature. If you open an email but don't have time to deal with it right away, you can snooze it, and it will pop back up later when you're ready. Yahoo Mail, on the other hand, doesn't have built-in AI tools. It focuses more on customization and organization rather than automation. That means you'll need to manage responses and reminders yourself. If you prefer having AI assist you, Gmail offers a much smarter experience. Handling attachments is an area where both Gmail and Yahoo Mail take different routes. Gmail integrates directly with Google Drive, if you need to send large files, Gmail automatically uploads them to Google Drive and includes a link so you don't run into attachment size limits. This makes it easy to share documents, images, and videos without worrying about file size. Yahoo Mail takes a different approach. Instead of using an in-house service, it connects with Dropbox. When sending large files, it uploads them to Dropbox and then shares a link. This works well if you already use Dropbox. If you prefer a seamless experience where everything is built in, Gmail's integration with Google Drive is much more convenient. Yahoo Mail stands out when it comes to handling multiple email accounts. It allows you to add and manage Gmail, Outlook, and other accounts directly from the Yahoo Mail interface. That means you can check all your emails in one place without switching between different apps or tabs. Gmail doesn't offer an all-in-one inbox like Yahoo Mail, but it does let you link other accounts. 
you can add non-Gmail accounts and switch between them easily, but you won't be able to see all emails in a single inbox like you can with Yahoo Mail. If managing multiple email accounts from one place is a priority, Yahoo Mail has the upper hand. Gmail offers an offline mode, which means you can access your emails even without an internet connection. You can read, search, and even compose emails while offline. And once you're connected to the internet again, everything syncs automatically. This is useful if you travel frequently or need to access important emails in places with poor internet access. Yahoo Mail doesn't have an offline mode. If you're not connected to the internet, you won't be able to access your emails at all. If offline access is something you need, Gmail is the better option. One of the biggest advantages of Gmail is its connection to the entire Google Workspace. When you use Gmail, you also get access to Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Meet, and Google Drive. If you use these tools for work, everything is integrated smoothly, so you can schedule meetings, collaborate on documents, and store files all within the same system. Yahoo Mail has its own set of tools like Yahoo Calendar and Yahoo Notes, but they don't offer the same level of integration or collaboration. If you need a complete workspace for productivity, Gmail is the better choice. But if you just need an email service without all the extra tools, Yahoo Mail works fine. Both Gmail and Yahoo Mail are free, but that comes with advertisements. Gmail's ads are small and don't interrupt your workflow. They appear in the Promotions tab, so they're easy to ignore. You can go through your emails without feeling like ads are constantly in the way. Yahoo Mail, however, has much larger ads that take up noticeable space in the inbox. They can be distracting, especially if you're trying to focus on your emails. If you want an email experience with fewer interruptions, Gmail does a much better job at keeping ads out of the way. When it comes to pricing, both email services are free, but they have paid plans with extra benefits. Yahoo Mail Plus costs $5 a month and gives you 5 terabytes of storage, no ads, and more security features. It's simple. One plan, one price. Gmail offers more flexibility. You can get extra storage and premium features for as little as $6.30 per month, with different plans going up to $12.60 for AI-powered tools and 2 terabytes of storage. If you want a simple, affordable upgrade, Yahoo Mail's one-price plan is straightforward. But if you want flexibility and different options, Gmail has more to offer. So, after looking at everything, which one is better? If you want the best email filtering, strong security, AI-powered tools, and a system that works well for work and personal use, Gmail is the better choice. It's reliable, packed with features, and part of the larger Google ecosystem. But if you care more about customization, unlimited storage, and managing multiple email accounts in one place, Yahoo Mail is a great choice. Let us know which one you prefer in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech breakdowns like this.